Savage Avengers number 10 was published a few days ago and continued with the Avengers fight against the powerful sorcerer Cool and Goth. We last saw how Conan the Barbarian stole Cool and Goth Amulet of Power, the third eye of Agamotto, which eventually attracted the attention of Doctor Doom and Doctor Strange. Together, they tracked Cool and Goth to Egypt, where they engaged him in a fierce battle, but the sorcerer proved to be impossible to kill and poisoned Doctor Strange who was about to die. And that's when Doctor Doom summoned his Iron Man armor and directed it to save the Sorcerer Supreme. Our book for today opens with Cool and Goth capturing Conan the Barbarian and prepares to finish him. Doctor Strange, now known as the Iron Mage, cast a spell to protect Conan, then blast Goth with the Eye of Agamotto. He then freed Conan from the rocky grip, but Cool and Goth attacked again, saying that he is a god. Doctor Doom took Goth down with a punch. Strange then opened a pharaoh's tomb where he suspected that Doctor Voodoo's body would be kept. And he was correct. They found Voodoo with the avatar of the demon Shumagurath possessing him. Conan and Doom engaged Cool and Goth while Doctor Strange tried to free Voodoo from the demon. Goth managed to injure Doom while Strange was still trying to help Voodoo but in vain. And that's when Conan had enough and decided to solve the problem his own way. He punched the demon before removing and tossing it away. Goth, however, caught the demonic avatar and blasted Doom. Doctor Strange teleported himself along with Voodoo to the swamps of Ogun, the realm of god Kalfu. Strange explained that Voodoo needs Kalfu's help after he was possessed by Shumagurath. Kalfu said that he always liked Voodoo, even when he is dead, and said that he will allow him to recover. Voodoo's spirit told Strange that Cool and Goth is trying to summon and consume Shumagurath, but before he could finish what he wanna say, Kalfu sent Strange back to the temple of Cool and Goth. Strange found that Conan and Doom were still struggling against Goth. He ejected the Iron Man armor and directed it towards Goth. The armor merged with the sorcerer, who threatened to be free in a moment. But Conan placed the cursed amulet of Agamotto around his neck, which decapitated him. Cool and Goth was still able to talk even after his decapitation. He said that they only slowed him down and that Shumagurath will come before disappearing along with his pyramid. Conan was upset cause they could not slay the sorcerer. He suggested to stop at the nearest tavern to drink before beginning their quest for the ebony blade. Strange and Doom had enough with the troubles they got from Conan and his cursed amulet and decided to teleport him back to the jungles of Brazil where Doom found him the first time. The exhausted Strange and Doom then went back to the Sanctum Sanctorum, where Strange said that he is not sure that they can defeat Cool and Goth. Doom then suggested contacting Mephisto. It's been a while since the last time comics gave us a book whose pages are all about fighting. I like it when writers respect the characters and accurately depict their powers and abilities. Cool and Goth is powerful enough to take on Strange, Doom, and Conan together. I am sure that we have not seen the last of him yet, and maybe he will come back with Shumagurath this time. I'll keep you updated. Until then, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.